Hey y'all, it's Jenny. I'm back with, oh, there's a stamp. Just, just wandering along with my trash. So I'm back with some stuff that I did not dig for because digging for me usually means, you know what, I'm just not even gonna say it because I'm proclaiming healing, but I don't like to dig for things. So, I thought I would just look at the things just that's been laying around since Christmas or like my son's sick. He wanted some Sour Patch Kids. My husband last week had these. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. I ate these. I found these from last Valentine's Day because my son likes these and I was like, oh, it is Conversation Hearts Candy. Now, if they're not expired, I should probably, oh, they're not expired. But you know what? I can still give them, I can give them to him right now because he's still sick, so. Oh, I thought they might, you know what? I might eat those. No, I don't need to eat them. But, I'm going to put those in a Ziploc bag that I don't look. It's, it's just paper products that's been in that. It's it's not gonna hurt him. Let's just go ahead and say it's not gonna hurt him because I mean I hope it look those look so good. <laughs> They're so cute. Y'all know I wanna try one, but I'm not I'm not. Okay. So I want to make I've been wanting to make some popcorn bag journals for a long, long time since I saw, before I even had a channel, a long time ago, I saw, um, who did I see? Je um, Jessica Rapp, Two Silver Oranges, I believe. She had made some like vintage popcorn type journals and sold them. I want to make some popcorn journals, but for right now, I'm gonna make one, I think. And then I might make some more off screen, but. I'm just using, you know, the candies and Valentine's Day things and fun and colors and junk because I think it'll be fun. And very, very festive because, you know. So, oh, I still haven't drank this hot chocolate. Ooh, I might not need to drink that hot chocolate. But I bet that's some good hot chocolate. Okay, so I'll keep the tab to put my December daily, but this came in like a little Ray Dunn package mug and stuff my daughter got me for Christmas. If you've been watching my December daily videos, you know that. And I told y'all in my last one that yes, I have a couple days left to film. I'm wanting to order some Canon selfie paper, a printer paper from a thing, because I'm about out of it, I think. And some printer paper, really. Those two things. I really need to order some Amazon supplies is what I need to do. So, that said, and I'm not thinking about this, y'all. I'm, I'm just not overthinking this right now anyways. I might save that little part. We'll see. Now, the popcorn bag I saw, you know, her do, it, it was totally different. This is just something I just decided I want to use my junk and make a junk journal. Because I did it for Halloween at one time. Back before I had a channel. That was fun. I put, like, candy packaging and stuff. Because some people get mad when they think you're new and that you don't know that a junk journal like I make and sell is not really... I mean, no one's ever said anything to me. And they're way higher up. They're not watching me. But, the, you know, they get mad if, if you're not using actual junk and you're calling your journal junk journals. But they would say even this is not junk because I just opened this container but y'all know what to me this is junk it's gonna go in the trash or not but 
you know it needs to. So, these were from the Dollar Tree last year. I love these little cards. So, we're going to say a quick prayer that this does not make me hungry and want the junk. Excuse me for that sneeze because, yeah. Now, you could also make fun little journals out of each one of these boxes. That would be fun. Like, if I made my son a little Sour Patch Kids junk journal, I mean, considering he's 19, he would probably <laughs> be like Mama. But I did make him a little homemade card a couple years ago, and he thought that was sweet. He liked it. So, that would be funny if I... So, then, see, now I'm thinking, do I want to um, make individual journals? Or do I want to put these in my popcorn journal? We'll see. We shall see. And I meant to put a timer, a timer which I don't own and I keep pretending I do, beside me to see how long this is going, but so I don't know if this will go up before or after, but I had filmed just now a fun project that I will be doing a collab with 12 other crafters on Saturday. This is, um, I don't know, th Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I think it might be Thursday. And y'all think I'm kidding, but I, I think it's Thursday. And so, that said, this might be a donut journal instead of a popcorn journal. Um... My, um, what was I saying? Oh, a collab, yes, with 12 other crafters of all types and kind of, all kinds of crafters. And, um, it's hosted by Nelda's Crafts. Now, y'all need to go check out Nelda because she is doing this amazing giveaway for her birthday. Which I just think is such a blessing. She is giving away when she draws at the end of like, you know, the details are in her thing. But like, she's giving away $50 to the winner and then $50 to your church or charity of your choice. I don't know about y'all, but I think that is, that is just, ow, I just poked myself with that. So, I, I don't know. I just think that's truly... I don't know. I've probably mentioned that five times in the past week, but I think that's a really wonderful thing. I mean, I know people do giveaways and birthday and all that, but to match it with, you know, money towards your church and her being from Canada and having her own ministry, you know, I just think that's wonderful. So, that said check out Saturday's collab because I was making little fun embellishments that y'all asked me to make. And I'm finally trying to start doing little tutorials. Yes, I'm going to put paper in here. Hey, um, son, I just heard you walk by. Here's you some um, Sour Patch Kids conversation hearts that I just opened and I don't need no, them. Sure, here, I don't need them near me, so, um, you don't want to eat them? I mean, you can, but I'm not, um, okay, so, let's see. I'm filming right now, though, so I can't, like, go, you know, answer the door he's like can I order a pizza um, and I'm like thinking son can you can you let me film just one 
Okay, so this is all kind of bulky. We've got to figure out the situation. I have some papers that I think I did not bring with me in here. I think I took those to my bedroom when I was doing my daily journaling. Which, I need to do a process video on here for that. Let's see. If I were Jeannie's just random papers, where would I be? Here's some... Here's an envelope. Here's some yellow and pink. Um, I was going to put all my, you know, like little fun coffee papers that were... I'm trying to do this like Dollar Tree product kind of things. You know, Dollar General Dollar Tree. So... Put all the boxes back here. My one little pink, pink toy. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see. Do we want to do the donuts? Or do we want to do the popcorn? You know what? I'm thinking we might do several little mini journals for Valentine's. And then, have several little mini different types. But I was going to do it as a wrap-around popcorn little. I mean, I've said that enough. I think y'all get the idea. So, here's these papers. Um, those are card stocks. So, uh, those are a little bit heavy. Whoops. I don't know. I just thought this would be fun if you wanted to follow along and maybe make little Valentine um, baskets for your kids. I love doing that. Like, I'm, even if, you know, when they're older, like, my husband's like, well, when they're married, it's, it's over. You don't. But I'm still like, look, as long as they're my kids for the rest of my life, I still want to do Valentine and little Easter things I do. But it doesn't mean I always do. But that's my goal in life. Well, I mean, you know, all of our goals to be that Pinterest mom, but I quit. I quit aiming for that because... I wasn't keeping up too well with that goal. Sometimes I was feeling like a failure, so. <laughs> so I quit that little, I just quit getting on there. I mean, I can now that they're older, but when they were little, I was just like, I, I can't keep up. So, y'all know I like all different sizes and styles of papers, but. Um, we're just going to cut these to fit that. And we might go with the donut one. And I might do the popcorn carnival -y journal in another thing. Let's see. So there's pink and yellow and a popcorn bag right in the middle. We will cut that off. And it's still too big. This has a spine already. But oh, the 
you know what my goal was to stitch this down the middle and then I could do a no sew later that you know you hand stitch I may save that Ghirardelli for a whole separate little journal because that would just be cute and I have done a little mini M&M, not on here, but just at home, you know, just. So there's that, but I need this center to be, I can cover this spine up and make that. I don't know, it might be fun to do an M&M Y'all, I don't know. I might make some of these little journals and just see. Let's see, here's an envelope. It's too big, but we could wrap it around. Little Debbie. Or not. I don't like that. But I like it in here. Some more paper. So I'm doing the um, Abiding Kelsey Lee's channel, um, My Abiding Journal 2021 Challenge, mostly every day trying, you know, and I mean I post on Instagram, if, you know, I haven't done a process video yet, but I think I might be, I mean I've got this stuff pulled to do on here soon but it might be before this or after this I don't know but that said that said I don't know what I was saying um I'm doing that and I had a point that I don't I don't remember now what it was I'm doing that challenge. If you would like to join that challenge, go check out her channel. Tell her I sent you at Abiding Kelsey Lee. I first found her when she was showing you how to do a war binder years back. But I don't know, it's just it's just a fun little um challenge. So um yeah, I d I don't know where I was going with that all. I'll get back to you when I think about it. <laughs> oh, Jenny. Okay, so we're just putting all the junk, all the things. You see, and I could put some pom pom trim or something to to go over this to make to extend the um. What's it called? Um, edge. I think I might put the pink with the yellow. Oh, I know what I was saying. So a lot of times I'll sit in my room and do that because I'll post it on Instagram stuff. So I'll just sit, you know, in there and do that. Well, I've left things in my room, such as my tearing ruler. It's very important to me, but. I don't have it right now. I need it right now, but I don't have it. But I can use a regular ruler. Can I? So let me know what you're up to, what your projects are that you're doing. Because I said before, I don't know when, but the other day, in a, I've got to start writing down my the things, the videos I do, because I'm like, did I do that video, or did I think I did that video? <laughs> but I'm like, I've said before, I used to not really be a big Valentine person, but now, I don't know if it's crafting, or realizing, you know what, I have a Valentine baby, like, why? Why did I not like Valentine? You know, stay or whatever. You know, it may be my own my own problems, but I just decided um, it's time 
to start doing some Valentine things because they're fun. They're so much fun. And you have to have music paper, which this is probably going to crack it so old, and it is. Okay, so I can't do this too thick because I want it to, um, I want to stitch it without like breaking the machine. So, that said, I'm going to leave this here to make a little pocket. Oh, and by the way, I, I sell Young Living, you know, I've, or I've done Young Living oils, you know, for like eight years now. So, I use Thieves Cleaner for everything. So, I spray out these things and wipe them out. So, I mean, there may be a piece of chocolate in there, but probably not. So, if I'm going to sell things, there's not. But if I'm keeping it for myself, there's, there's not chocolate in there. I meant, if I'm selling it, there's not chocolate in there. So I'm going to stitch this right down the middle really quick. Let me make sure. Let's see, that's two bags back to back. So I don't want that. I like the pink and red contrast with the mints and the golds. And we really have to put the little Sour Patch Kids because they're so cute. Okay, so let me do this. So y'all pray I don't break my needle. This can't be thicker than chipboard though, it cannot. You know what? I need, um, which is not in here either, but, oh, I have some binder clips. just almost fell out of my chair. That would have been funny. Or not. Okay, so... I'm going to clip these to where it won't shift in the middle while I'm stitching it and then, you know, ruin everything that I just thought about. Okay, so here I go. Pray for me. I've got it on a straight stitch. I'm going to loosen the tension just a little because, yeah. like a, a bunch of horses were coming through, but hey, it stitched it. So, I stitched that down the middle. If my son really called in a pizza... to like pause this when that happens and come back or do a part two but maybe that's best because we don't we don't know how long I've been here okay so I think I may finish up just the basics and then come back for part two for to decorate it anyway because this is gonna be fun y'all I'm excited so I let's see um I grabbed it Dollar General because that's the only place right next, you know, there's always a Dollar General right next to your house. And I ran in really fast yesterday and most everything was just chosen, you know, just already picked over. But I grabbed these few things and I really, oh, there's my Skittles box. See, I'm going to make some journals out of those. Okay, so. I was going to show you real quick because I'm going to use some of these, but so again, I have a Valentine it's going to be 18 year old, so I'll either put these above on my coffee bar and hang little somethings, or I will pull them off of here because see, they're just on room, and I thought how cute to use in like little um, happy mailboxes, how cute. Okay, so they were a dollar a pack, and then monkeys how cute 
I still call my 19 year old son Connor Monkey. He hates it still. Well, no, he, sometimes it depends on his mood, but yeah, usually he hates it. Okay, so these are adorable. These are adorable. These are gonna be part of the embellishment. I got these, they only had like one of each, but how cute for my little tear tray on my coffee bar. Cause it, if y'all saw my December daily, you know I have like vintage, like an old door and I have lots of mints and pinks in there anyway. But these are cute, right? For dollars just to stand in the tray with my J dot things. A little bit of modern with the, you know. And then, I grabbed these foam hearts. I thought these would be fun to layer up like in here. And then this was Easter, but I grabbed these a while ago when I went back towards my craft room. So I grabbed this pom-pom garland, which I think I need to grab a couple more because I think this is really cute for embellishment boxes or to just string up like in my daughter's room on her birthday or something while she's at work when she comes home, you know, like, I don't know. Just all the thoughts, all the thoughts that goes through Jenny's head. <sighs> Y'all can only imagine. Okay. Now, see, that's an off-centered kind of... Okay, now that might work and be cute. And then have this, glue this signature in or I could twine bind it and then wrap it around hmm eeny meeny miny mo what if the skittles why can't they be that wide I really need this chocolate to work because that would be so cute why does it have to be like odd shaped? I think the Sour Patch Kids might have won. Might have won. And we will sew that in here and decorate it. I think that would be really fun. Now that said, I'm gonna have to cut that envelope up through there. Now, I don't know if I will wrap it around because I do want pom-poms and trim and stuff hanging. I really, I just need to go to the Dollar Tree because it's like a necessity in my life right now. So, yeah. I could do a three hole pamphlet stitch, but I think I'll wait till I decorate this and decide and then maybe just bind it in this just lightly with to where you can take it out. So we have this in a pocket, pink paper, yellow paper, the donuts, the popcorn bag, yellow, pink doily, little notepad, guest check, and then this little Maggie Holmes card, and then the little conversation hearts, sorry, badge kiss thing, that I said I would cover, oh, it will be covered up. And so, there is that. So I will come back with a part two at some point here in a little bit. So I will see y'all in the next one and have a good day. Bye.